I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? No. Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. Vice City Arts Center, expressing the future aesthetically through the medium of dance. Two men battle for one robot's heart by euphoric and vehement gyrations on stage. I love her! Yes, but what about this? Those aren't regulation moves. I know you meant to win! My way to express that which cannot be said. <laughs> this is the definition of modern dance. And the future. The, future. the performance features a futuristic computer show with a dehydrating manatee. In the future, there will be robots. Come see the performance that has left critics speechless. At the Vice City Arts Center.
CPR. 10% is a really small amount. I remember when I was volunteering in Central America to make myself appear less shallow, the native peoples would give you 10% of their land for a pair of mirrored sunglasses. And they would run around me saying, chicle, chicle, which is Espanol for pretty woman. It was very spiritual, like waves. Absolutely. But remember, this radio station could disappear. The voice of unprofitable radio could be silenced. One day you wake up, roll over, and she's gone. You go into the kitchen, there's a note sprawled, the sound of a taxi leaving in the distance, a thunderstorm rolls in. It's a metaphor for my haircut, or this pledge drive. Yes, the pledge drive. Become a member. Only members, or people with radios, can listen to this radio station. Now back to pressing issues. Shouldn't we give out the phone number? Like I tell the children at the library I volunteer at, look it up yourself. Know you can't go to the bathroom, and stop crying. That's good advice. Now, back to Pressing Issues. Welcome back to Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez. On our panel, we got the secessionist lunatic John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid Callum Crayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman Alex Trump. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the F? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Excellent. But back to the matter at hand. Public safety. How do we get guns under control in this city? By giving everyone hope, a dream of a better tomorrow, by encouraging people to grow their own root vegetables. What's the satisfaction of holding a gun in your hand when you could be holding a hoe, planting seeds in a peasant village? Keep your hoes and seeds to yourself. We don't need gun control. If you read the Constitution, it's a sacred document that should not be changed. Under our Constitution, women couldn't vote, but the liberals come in crying crocodile tears. We need to get scaremongers and non-believers men like you, Chavez, under control. I've got a good mind to have your funding removed. We don't get any funding. Yeah, exactly. Well, good. <laughs> you won't see a penny out of me. You've got to stop spreading these lies or I'll whip you myself. And I'm not afraid. The Constitution asserts a man's right to bear arms at, and arm bears and all points in between. Whoever heard of a gun or a bear causing problems? This is all cocky pop or whatever that word is. It keeps the place safe. Trouble is caused by unemployment, and unemployment comes from poor economic performance and lazy people. If you had a job, would you steal a car? Of course not. And if you had a high-rise condo, a mistress, and a seat on the board, would you run around graffitiing your name all over town and making a nuisance of yourself, spinning on your back and popping and locking and... Not a hope. It's simple. If you don't have a job, starve. Get out of my constituency. By force, if necessary, and starve. That is quite simple. Are you really saying that? Of course I am. My city is a growing city. Of course, there are going to be some growing pains, but what I tell people is this. Gather up your life savings, buy yourself a piece of swamp, drain it, and get rid of the damn wildlife. Then apply for planning permission. Pretty soon, you can have your own retirement community or resort destination holiday place. You can start making money out of the boom. The 